July soybeans were down sharply, posting the lowest close that we've seen since April 18th. Uh, this has been a bit of a wild week with volatility going in both directions. Uh, but basically, we gave back all of Tuesday's gains and then some, uh, reinstating the losses that we saw on Monday and then in front of the uh, market pause on Wednesday due to the Juneteenth holiday. This now leaves the July soybean contract down 24 and a half cents for the week going into the last trading day. We have warmer, drier weather upon us and into uh, next week. This is seen as a bit of a bearish factor for soybeans at the moment as we still need to finish up planting and this will allow for good weather for that. Now, hot and dry uh, at some point further on down the line might be, might be really quite bullish for soybeans, but soybeans, their key moisture sensitive time frame is in August. So we have a ways away. Uh, corn is a different story and corn is, uh, well, not exactly sure what to do with this current forecast. But uh, again, for soybeans, August is the most mo moisture sensitive time frame uh, in its growth cycle. Now, next Friday, we have USDA's uh, planted acreage report, as well as our quarterly grain stocks reports both of these reports are rather big deals. Uh, planted acreage is going to be a highly contested number uh, between now and when that number comes out because uh, planning, in, uh, planning intentions for corn and soybeans came, uh, came in about 6 million acres below where we were last year. And where those acres went uh, really make us unsure. A lot of people suggesting that those acres will, uh, where, will or would have come back but also we had a fairly wet and sloppy planting season uh, and it's been tough to get the crop planted. So ultimately it might end up just being a bit of a wash. We might end up getting close to what our planting intentions numbers are, but you're, you're going to hear arguments on both sides of that. And that, that report will set the tone for the rest of the growing season as we focus more on weather, but also don't sleep on quarterly grain stocks. There's been some very strange movements in the old crop, new crop, soybean spreads suggesting tightness in old crop soybeans, but if the USDA is, is correct on their current estimate, that really shouldn't be the case. So that quarterly grain stocks number could reflect, uh, well, reflect something different than what the USDA had been saying and possibly force them to make changes uh, on last year's production. So lots going on for next week between weather and USDA. Should be interesting. Everybody buckle up and stay safe.